everyone. So I thought today we could work on some good core work and also some building up of our upper body strength because we find that we build and develop all these muscles from the legs and all these muscles you know that hold us up but we've also got this upper body strength that we can deal with and you know if we tend to have sedentary jobs where we sit at desks and things like that we might take for granted the need for some upper body strength especially you know shoulders and arms and things like that so I thought today we could do that along with some core work and maybe a little extra hip opening through butterfly pose which seems fitting because this is our season of cocooning and will emerge strong and beautiful from this so let's go ahead and first of all just do a little breathing just to focus in and you can set yourself up and get ready for that butterfly by working on that easy pose and you notice every day it might get a little bit easier if you come into it those knees might drop out a little bit more but you've always got the option of using those blocks or blankets or good pillows or whatever and also don't forget that if you take a pillow and just kind of prop it up underneath those sitting bones just right underneath and keep that pelvis tipping forward it really helps those knees to drop open and relax even further so just a little bit of height just right underneath those sitting bones to kind of tip that pelvis bowl forward it helps those knees just relax out even further it takes any pressure off of that lower spine and allows you to just really relax into those open legs it feels wonderful so give that a try it really really helps i mean i'll bunch up my yoga mat or a rolled up blanket or a little pillow or something so Go ahead and try that. And then let's just take that cleansing breath, nice and tall. All inhale and exhale right out through that nose. So inhale. Exhale. Floating it up, feeling that belly expand, that soft belly, all the way up into the crown of the head. You can even take a pause at the top of that inhale and just sort of, again, suspend everything. Let it just float up there for a few seconds. And then as you exhale, push it all out. And at the bottom of the exhale, you can suspend, not holding your breath, no pressure, no tension or anything like that. Just a temporary pause for a second or two and then inhale. Hold. And exhale. Hold. One more time. Inhale. Hold. And exhale. hold and the act of that holding at the top of the inhale just pausing and that pause at the exhale at the bottom it's in those moments that you can release everything it's in those moments that is peace so really start to enjoy that with that breath you're not just panting and and frantic and everything it's those little steps that we can take not only the act of slowing the breath down but at the top of that inhale, just hold and float for two counts or three counts. And then exhale, push it all out. And at the bottom of that exhale, just hold and float. And try to find that peace in those moments of utter stillness. Okay, so now we'll move on to a nice upward table that so we're gonna take our palms fingertips forward and put them right by those hips right underneath our shoulders and right here we've got our feet hip distance in front of us depending on your leg length your torso length find that comfortable spot you're sitting right on those sitting bones right here nice and tall that whole hand is working for you and I find that with the fingertips forward it really allows everything to kind of open up it seems 
I mean, the wrists seem a little bit tight when I push my fingertips back behind me. So I like to keep everything nice and open and loose. Having those wrists forward feels a lot looser. So then we're going to press up. We're just picking up our bottoms, pressing up. Those feet are still flat. You can take that head back behind you, gazing behind you. And you can take that chin to your chest and make sure that you're on that nice straight tabletop. And you're tucking in those bottoms. Those glutes might be a little bit engaged. Those feet you want right underneath your knees. So make sure those are parallel, straight forward. And right here you're getting some good upper body strength. But you're in that nice tabletop. So those hands are right underneath those shoulders and you're holding here. Try to relax those glutes, even though you know they're slightly engaged. Just try to relax things as you're here. Letting that head just hang back, filling with breath. And then when you're ready, you can bring just that bottom down. Notice how your heart's still high, your head can still be back. And then you just roll it forward. Bring that chin to the chest, get a little bit of a stretch. You can turn it side to side, nice and slow. And then one more time, let's just pick it up. Just that bottom coming up. Bring that chin to the chest. Make sure you're nice and even. Nice tabletops. Those feet are right underneath our knees. I've got really long legs, so it takes a little adjusting, but you'll find it. Relaxing that head back. Getting that strength. See that open heart. That belly is soft. And then just leading with those sitting bones as we sit back down. And chin to the chest, relaxing the neck. Maybe roll that right ear towards that right shoulder. And then roll that chin down. And opposite side, roll that left ear to the left shoulder. And back to the center. And then bring those arms up and just with those elbows at your waist, shake those fingers out, shake those wrists out, releasing that pressure that you had in your wrists. Getting some strength in those wrists too, breaking down any tension. You're gaining all that strength through those shoulders. Nice, strong, ready to take on anything that life brings our way. Now we're gonna work on some core work. You notice right here, I'm sitting up nice and straight, sitting bones, those feet are out, nice and parallel right there. But right here, I've got a gentle tuck of that belly button. That heart is up, open, lifted high, shoulders up, back and down, and that thread right out of the crown of the head towards the heavens. You're getting some really good core work here. So you can bring those feet in just a little closer. We can even take them in and just sort of Hug and make sure you kind of stay right up on those sitting bones, but pick those toes up and you can just sit here hugging those knees into your chest. A little bit of a rock here, not rolling too far back on that tailbone. We want to try and keep that heart momentum forward and it's, we're really focusing on keeping that weight in those sitting bones, not back on that lower spine. So that belly button tuck is really important here. And now we're gonna work on a, a pose called boat pose. So we're gonna take those arms straight out, thumbs towards the sky. And any of these modifications you can stay at. You can take one foot forward. You can paddle boat and take the other one forward. And then you can just shift back and forth. Keep that belly button tuck, think of that core work. You can take both up, again, keep that Heart momentum reaching forward. You're getting a really good core work out here. You can do that paddle boat here. Keep that breath moving. You can sing a song. The water is wide, I cannot cross over. <laughs> Whatever it takes, row, row, row your boat. Do it with your kids. You could do actual rowing, work on those side, those oblique muscles. Keeping that heart momentum reaching forward. You can take those hands underneath. A little bit of a break here. 
keep those toes pointed out and forward and that heart is reaching forward, those shoulders up, back and down. And here, and then we can take, and we can come into that nice butterfly because you've really challenged your hips there and your core. You got a good workout there on that. Just do that as much as you like and you can really strengthen those muscles there and keep that breath moving the whole time. So here, we're taking those flat of the feet together, bottoms of the feet, and then just opening up into that nice butterfly pose. So those heels are coming back. We're holding onto our ankles. I have slippers on, it might be kind of hard to see. It's a little chilly this morning. So I've got the flat of my feet together, and then I'm just laying them down on the side of my the outer edge of my feet. And then as you bring in those heels towards that groin, you're getting that nice opening stretch. And you can take your little wings of your butterfly sitting up nice and straight and just gently flap. Take those hands over the toes. Just flap your wings very gently. We of course don't wanna strain or stretch muscles beyond what they're ready for. So you wanna make sure you're nice and warm. Just gentle flapping. And then if you like for an extra stretch, keeping that heart momentum reaching forward, that back nice and straight, just reaching forward, you're really gonna feel it. And you'll get looser and more limber as you do this, but never force anything, because even right here, you're like, oh, hello, groin. It's a big time stretch, but it's a really excellent stretch. So make sure you keep that integrity of that heart reaching forward, nice, tall, long spine, I'm torquing my neck a little look at the camera, but make sure your neck feels like a nice extension of your spine. So your gaze will be kind of down in front of your feet somewhere. I always try to think of the lines of yoga. Your head is included, your spine, your neck, nice long line of energy, and you don't want any breaks in that line. So by torquing your neck up, you're breaking that line of energy. So keeping that chin down a little bit, Think of how that spine now extends that line of energy all the way through the top of your head, up and out through the crown. And then releasing, and we can take those legs forward and just roll back and forth. And from here, you can try again like that tabletop, except for here you've got your heels out in front of you. Just flat and those feet are together. Again, those hands are right underneath our shoulders. And this is just a little bit advanced from that tabletop. You can roll up onto those heels and those fingertips are facing towards those feet. And now you're like in a long diagonal line. So you're really picking those hips up and you're gaining that strength there as well. And you can bring that bottom down just like we did in that table, upward table. And here we are in our staff pose. So now I've got my heels grounded, my toes are coming back towards me, and we're sitting up nice and tall. And in this staff pose, you've got the long line of energy up and down, and this long line of energy along the earth. Sitting on those sitting bones, that excellent posture. We can take our hands and raise them up by our ears. You could link your thumbs together. Hands are right by those ears, inhaling. And as we exhale, see yourself as a door with that hinge at the hips. And as you come forward, keep that spine nice and straight. That belly button is, re or that belly is reaching towards those thighs. Those arms stay right by your ears. Wherever your stretch is, just drop those hands to bring them in contact with your feet or your legs. Keep that nice, long spine. And then if you sink a little bit further with each, with time and practice, you sink a little bit further, but never force it and never work in pain. Wherever that stretch is, just let your chin relax to your chest. Feel that spine just long and that long stretch. And breathe here, just surrender to this pose. And you can bring that chin up, keeping that core tucked, rising up. And take those legs out a little bit and just roll them back and forth like rolling pins. Yesterday we picked up a hip, we rolled side to side, picking up a hip, 
getting that lower back release. And from here, oh my gosh, you're in that perfect place for that peaceful time of day to just lie down in Shavasana. That nice corpse pose. And your feet will be about a foot to a foot and a half apart. Let those toes just flop out to the side. You can bring those hands out, palms up towards the sky. Find your comfortable place. Put a blanket over you if you get cold so that you're not distracted by that. Put socks on if your feet get cold. Put a bat, if you have one of those little sleep masks or whatever over your eyes, or a little pillow or just a little cloth, a dishcloth or whatever, a towel. If you have any essential oils, you could put a little bit of those on the towel and then put it over your eyes. And just take that time when you're here to just really draw that breath in from the soles of your feet, bringing it all the way up your legs into that belly, through that open chest and that throat all the way to the crown of the head. When you're lying here, feel that your flesh is just laying over your skeleton like a blanket, heavy. You could put on some relaxing music, set a timer for just five minutes, 10 minutes, and just lie here and breathe. And see your forehead is smooth. If you want, you could visualize that you're lying in a favorite place of yours on a beach or in a forest. So you could hear that roar of the ocean, that steady pulse, or if you're in a forest, you might hear a brook. The wind through pine trees or aspens, whatever your tree of choice is. And just let those troubles melt into the earth. The earth can take it. The earth can take that tired, used up energy. It can recycle it and send it back out to us. And we can draw up fresh new energy into our, into our bodies through our breath. You can stay in this position for as long as you like. And when you're ready, just gently wiggle your fingers and your toes and bring yourself back to your space. Don't just shoot back up, but always be nice and gentle and bring yourself out of things gently. You can even roll onto your side and bring your knees into your chest and stay there in that fetal position. You can use your bottom arm to kind of pillow your head. And then you can use that upper arm and help it to push you back up to seated. And you can come into that easy pose. That light that shines in me honors that light shining in all of you. It unites us all. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.